So this is an example of the process of uh, Booth multiplication that looks at negative numbers and positive numbers and decides how to multiply them together. There's one little bit of recognition that we need here to verify that this thing is going to work because we're talking about shifting numbers and in our original multiplication algorithm when we shifted a number we just added a zero to the front of it. We can't do that anymore because we have a number that might start with a one that indicates that that number is negative. We have to find a way to ensure that when we shift, we keep that sign. And we're gonna do this the same way we do sign extension. If you looked back at sign extension um, for the, oh, here's my previous example. If you look back at sign extension, uh, we showed that if you have a signed number like negative one, for example, you can add ones to the front of it without changing its value because every time you do that, you add value in the same way that you, you subtract value. Right, so if this is one, 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 this is one and two and negative four, then to get a four bit representation from a three bit representation, what we do is we add another bit, this becomes negative eight and we get from negative four, we add eight to get to positive four. And because we're subtracting eight and adding eight, we don't change the value and so the end result is still negative one. We call this sign extension. We can take the sign of the number and copy it to make the number bigger. Um, we're gonna do the same thing with our shifting in order to make sure that we maintain the size and scope and value of the number. So let's say we have a number that's stored in four bits like this. So this is negative eight and positive four. So this is negative four. To shift it to the right, we're gonna shift in this direction. Uh, we should be dividing by two, right? But negative four divided by two should give us negative two. We're gonna do that by replicating the sign bit instead of just shifting in a zero. So we get one, 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 zero. And one, 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 zero is negative two. So this is called an arithmetic shift or arithmetic shift. Whether arithmetic is a noun, arithmetic, or a, an adjective, an arithmetic, describing the process, adverb, I guess, uh, describing the verb. The shift is the verb. The arithmetic is describing the verb. So depending on how you deal with that, it's arithmetic or arithmetic. Uh, but we're shifting and maintaining the sign. And that allows us to continue to interpret these shifts as division or multiplication by two by keeping the sign. When we shift to the right, the same thing is gonna happen, right? If we have one, 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 zero, this is negative four. At, oh, sorry, one, one, zero, zero is negative four. We're gonna shift to the right, uh, to the left, and we're gonna get one, zero, 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 which is negative eight. The problem with this is the problem with all shifts interpretation as multiplication or division is that at the edges of the representation, weird things happen. Because if you take this and shift it again, duplicating that sign bit one more time, you get negative eight again. And the same thing here, if we start with uh, negative four, uh, then we get negative two, and then we get negative one, and then we get negative one again, right? So it's not always gonna be the same as multiplication or division by two, but the concept is there. And so we're gonna be shifting by maintaining the sign bit. So that's an important point of interpreting the results of a booth multiplication is we are using an arithmetic shift instead of just a regular shift where the zero comes in. So we have to maintain the sign bit when we do our shift. And we're shifting in from the bottom end, we can shift a zero in, that's fine, and maintain the sign bit. But shifting in from the top end, we, sh we maintain the sign bit and then throw away the bottom part. So that's just a reminder of how we're doing this. Now, let's look at this example. And I've actually written this one out. So this is from the notes. We're multiplying or negative 9 times negative 13. And we should get positive 117 by doing this multiplication. So we're going to start with our initialization. Our partial product is initialized to 0. Our multiplicand... Oh, sorry, that's our multiplier. This is our multiplicand. I'll use blue for our multiplicand. Okay, and then our multiplier, we're going to use green for that. And that starts in Q. And we're going to add this zero as a placeholder so that we can look at the two bits at the same time. So we start with zero and one. 
and this tells us to subtract because a 1 and 0 together is a negative number, and so we subtract. Now, subtracting is adding the opposite, so if you wanted to do this process on paper by hand, the easiest way is to flip the bits of the multiplicand, add 1 so that you get the negative value of the multiplicand, or in this case, positive 9, and then you're going to add positive 9, which is the same as subtracting negative 9. And so we get 9. So our next partial product is this value. So we're adding the negative value, and so we get 9. And then we're going to do a shift, right? This comes through here, and so all of these bits shift by 1. And then we can look at the next two bits. The next two bits are 1 and 1. Our algorithm said if the bits are the same, we don't do anything. All we do is shift. So we're going to do our arithmetic shift. We're going to do it again. Uh, sorry, we're going to do our arithmetic shift here, and this is going to give us our result. Then we're going to look at these two bits, 0 and 1, tell us we should add the multiplicand. So we're going to take negative 9 and add it to this value that has been shifted, and we get this new value. Okay? Then we shift again. And we look at our two bits, and they're zeros. They're the same, so we don't add or subtract. We just shift. Okay? Same thing again. We shift, and the result now is looking here. We see this as 1 and 0, which tells us we need to subtract. And so we subtract. We do our final shift, and C equals 0 tells us we're done. And we get this result, positive 117, which is what we expect to have positive 117. So this is the Booth algorithm. We're going to shift and negate, shift and add, and it's a really clever algorithm that gives us a very uh, powerful way to perform multiplication on signed numbers.